Hey guys, what's going on? It's Michael Panetta with Tech Examined, and we have a video today on computer memory. I'm upgrading my iMac memory because it needs it, and I feel that um, what I want to do is allow my computer to run a little bit smoother. Now, what is memory? Well, it refers to the de uh, physical devices used to store programs. That's really like the textbook definition of that. Um, it's uh, on a temporary or permanent basis uh, for the computer. Um, based on what you're using, uh, it will swap out uh, physical devices, uh, uh, programs, with what you're running, with what you're not running. So it, it will allow the computer to work with your, uh, your SSD, opening up software, uh, your um, computer when it comes to processing a video, say here on uh, Final Cut Pro or ScreenFlow. Uh, I took some pictures of ScreenFlow working as it was actually rendering this portion of the video. And you can see uh, how much memory it uses, the CPU, the, the, the drive that it's writing to. Uh, all those things work in harmonious function. Now, what I want to do today is upgrade my memory. I have 8 gigs of memory. Uh, as we take a look here, uh, you can find this on About Your Mac or About This Mac in your computer. Uh, this particular uh, Mac and uh, what a PC is, I don't remember. <laughs> so what I want to do is talk about uh, just putting it in and hopefully give you a little bit of information about it on the way. So this is my 27-inch iMac, uh, 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, you saw that, um, did I say gig of hertz? I meant to say gigahertz. And it currently has 8 gigs of memory. Now, that is nice. Uh, I do find that uh, the system does kind of push it to its limits when I'm using Final Cut and uh, maybe doing a screen flow or working on uh, learning After Effects and stuff like that. So the 213 iMac is a little bit different uh, when they went to the rounded portion. You see here on the back, once you unplug, there's a little tiny button that you can actually access your memory. Now, unfortunately, is a little bit more difficult on the 23-inch uh, iMac. You actually have to take it apart. I know, it's a bummer. Fortunately, on the 27-inch iMac, they do have the ability to remove the back panel and access the memory only. Now, if you want to do anything else, you're bound to have to take apart the entire computer to do that, which, again, isn't so horrible. So once you remove the back panel, they do have some instructions uh, on the other side of it to kind of to show you what you need to do to get the memory sticks out. Now, this particular iMac has four slots. Right now being occupied by two is four gig memory stick and another four gig memory stick. Now you see there I squeezed out on the other side. You can't see, I pulled that out to be able to do that. Slide the memory stick uh, number one out and the memory stick number two. Now, once you do that, you're obviously gonna take your new memory, which I have here, a la Jonathan at TLD. Thank you for the great deal. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys exactly what you need to do. Now, there is a specific way to put it in based on the indentation uh, of the board itself on the um, memory, and you got to put it in there. So we'll speed it up and just kind of chit-chat a little bit about it, uh, putting that in. Now, again, I'm putting in four sticks. Uh, each one is 8 gig for a total of 32 gig of RAM. Is that too much? It probably is not needed. Um, for, you know, what is done. But there are some computers um, or processes and applications that will utilize all of that. And that all depends on what you're doing and how you're doing it. Now, I plan on learning more and more software that I am going to put on here from uh, Adobe uh, After Effects and, you know, continue using Motion and Expand. And once those processes are working, you're going to need a now, of lot course, from more my limited experience, that's what I've learned. Now, you know, you may have a little more experience on it or a little more info, and it's always appreciated, but we can talk about that in the comment section below. But uh, in the meantime, that's how I use it and how I understand it to work. So as we take a look at the computer after the fact, just want to kind of show you guys exactly what we got here now. And, uh, you know, just talk a little bit about the memory itself. So we have, uh, you know, 32 gig of memory, 1600 megahertz, uh, DDR3. Now, hopefully, like I said, this will help improve the process of me using Final Cut uh, Pro because I do have a little bit of stammers and stutters while I'm using it. So I hope to see a better results as far as that working. Now, uh, you know, something like opening up the, the software is primarily 
reserved for your SSD. I've noticed a much improved speed when it comes to opening the software uh, when you have an SSD uh, drive as opposed to a standard. And, you know, the memory helps that a little bit. Uh, once you start opening up more and more things, uh, you know, as far as the processes go, because those things become active, thus removing things that are inactive onto the memory drive. So you may notice a little bit of a difference uh, once you start opening up more and more things. Uh, if I have a Final Cut uh, app or a program rendering uh, or exporting and I'm using uh, ScreenFlow or I want to edit something on, you know, Motion or After Effects, those things will start, you know, eating up the memory and using it uh, because those things are active. And when you start doing that, things start getting bogged down a little bit. So at the end of the day, your memory is as important as your SSD and your CPU. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about is how I got my information for the memory on my computer. Well, of course, I had help from Jonathan. But if I were to, say, purchase this, you can go to OWC. You can actually pull up your particular model that you have. And they have every single model in here. And as I started going through, you can double check and match up what you have with what your processes are about this Mac. So we have a 3.5 gigahertz uh, core i7. And as I sit here and stammer and stutter uh, through the website, I realize that it's the third one down. And then I want to use that for. So once you do that, you have processes down below. So we're going to do the memory and show you guys exactly what you can buy. Now, if you don't want to buy this through OWC, of course, you can get the information uh, of exactly what you want. And my you know favorite way of doing this is to basically highlight and uh, copy and paste that information. And, <clears throat> of course, I, you know, go over to good old Amazon. And I take that information uh, that I got and I paste it right in there and I go start looking if I can get a better price over there. Now, what I'll do is I'll put a link down below uh, for this particular memory or you can continue to, you know, to move on and look see what you're looking for. But if you happen to have a uh, late 2013 model uh, iMac 27-inch, uh, you can look it up on here and that's exactly what you need. So... Guys, that's pretty much it. I, I hope this helps someone uh, down the road uh, for that, you know, maybe if you're looking for some information. But I always love to chat. If you have any questions, hit me up down below. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And as always, to catch our next video, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, your support, as always, is greatly appreciated. So if you guys, again, have any questions, hit me up down below. I am out of here. You all have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.